Do you want to get rid of those unsightly fat deposits that are hanging around your chest area? You've been trying to lose weight, but they just seem to be getting bigger and more noticeable. Well, stop that. There are a few simple steps you can take before heading into the gym. We're going to break down three easy ways that you can get rid of these extra pounds without even making it a mandatory part of your health conscious routine. In fact, one step will only require five minutes out of your day. So what are we waiting for? Let's jump head first into this plan and learn how to remove fat from the chest. This first step is an easy one. If you're looking to get rid of that unsightly chest fat, you can start with jumping rope for five to 10 minutes a day. You don't need any specialist equipment and you'll see results quickly. Now ask yourself, would you rather be skipping rope or wasting time in front of a television? If the answer is yes to this question, then consider getting back on the ropes. It will be time well spent. And if you don't have time to jump rope, then take up another activity that will burn fat from your body. Next up, we have sit-ups. Don't write off sit-ups just yet. They are a very important part of your fitness regime. Doing sit-ups could burn up to 800 calories a day. So it's certainly time to start doing them again. You don't need a gym membership for this one. Just work out your abs. Sit up on the floor with your legs bent at a 90 degree angle and lean back and support yourself by placing your arms under your bottom. For more stability, you can hold on to something for support, or even better, you can have someone hold on to you. Breathe in as you slowly lower yourself down towards the ground and breathe out as you push yourself back up. This step is going to burn all that chest fat. Lastly, we have arm exercises. It's important to work both your arms and your chest when you're trying to lose fat from this area. You want to give them all some attention. Certain arm exercises are going to be even better for burning that fat away, and there are only two of them. So let's talk about those two exercises, shall we? It's called the barbell curl, and it will help you tighten up those loose fats on your chest and arms. When you do this exercise, it will work your biceps, the muscle on the front of your arm that's above the elbow. So if you're wearing a shirt, you'll see a little bit of your bicep. If you want to burn off those fats, it'll be best for you to do sets of 8 to 12 repetitions. You should be able to feel the burn when doing these, and the best thing about doing these is that it will strengthen your biceps even more so that they get fuller and bigger. Try not to twist at the top or bottom part of the movement. Instead, keep them straight when you're curling up and down at the shoulder joint. Another bicep exercise that will help you burn fat is clapping, or so they call it. This one is done how you're probably doing it right now, with your hands open and palms facing up, like a baby bird flying. If you want to lose that fat from the upper part of your arm, then this is a good one to do. Again, this exercise will work your biceps. However, for this one, the spot on the bicep where it's on fire will be in your deltoid muscle. So if you have a very muscular deltoid, maybe from weightlifting, then you might burn off some fat as well as get even more definition there. This one is also done for sets of eight to 12 reps and it works the same as the first exercise. You should be able to feel a burn in your biceps at the top and bottom part. Again, don't twist at the top or bottom, keep them straight. Some people like doing this one without weights and if that's what you want to do, then go for it. Doing either one of these two arm exercises are great for your upper body. Don't forget that by doing both of these exercises together and alternating between them, you'll have a more chiseled body image overall. The key here is to focus on building up your biceps while burning fat from your chest. I hope you loved all those tips and are going to try them all. Don't hesitate to tell us your results in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video, and if you want more videos on how to boost your metabolism, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.